Okay, so this is a quick video. I just want to show you how to um, record on GarageBand and then export the what you've recorded into an MP3 file and then send it to me. So uh, first of all, just if you're going to do the recording, you have to make sure that your headset is working and that it's actually recording from your headset. The way you do that is you just go to Settings or System Preferences um, on your Mac. You go to Sound and then you go to output and that's where the sounds coming out of so that's it'll go into the headphones if that's selected um, I have this I have a Microsoft live chat that I'm using right now I think the one that you'll have will be an everyman uh, 2000 or something like that um, but you don't want internal speakers or anything else you want to make sure that it's the right thing and then input it should be that um, every time you talk the the bars go up that shows that it's picking up the microphone and as you can see right now, it's it's not using the internal microphone, which is the built-in one on the computer. It's using the, the live chat microphone. Now, another thing that you can do just to test it is you can be quiet, and you can just tap the microphone. And you can see that the sound bars jump up when you tap the mic. So anyway, it looks like the microphone's working perfectly. So the next step is to go to GarageBand. You open it up, and you just start a new project. So it will open up. You go to New Project. You go to Voice. You just double click it. It'll ask you to create a name for the the file that you're working on or whatever. We'll just do Test. Um, hit Create. Okay. So now there is one thing that you want to do. You don't want. They have different recording settings, which are like filters for the sound. You want to go immediately to Podcasting. And you want to go to male narrator. Even if you're a girl, you use male narrator. Okay? And you make sure that this up here is highlighted in blue. That means that that is selected. If I clicked on female basic, now it's recording on this line. But we want to record up here on the top line. Um, and then right now it says input source. In other words, this is where it's getting the sound from. Right now it's using the built-in microphone. We don't want that. Um, hmm. For some re reason, it's not allowing me to um, use the other microphone that I need to. But to be honest, right now, because we're doing this for a test, normally you would click on input source, and one of the options here would not be the built-in microphone, but would be the everyman microphone. I'm not sure why this isn't working on this one in particular. I think it's probably because I'm actually using that microphone at this moment, so it, it won't allow it. Um, but when you do it, it will allow that. So you've selected the right microphone. You know that it's working. Um, you can see here that you're, you're, you're selected on the setting podcasting male narrator. And then all you do is you hit record. You record, la la la, you talk, do all that. And you can see that as it's going, it's recording the sound that you're making. You hit stop when you're done. And then, so now I've recorded whatever it was I wanted to record. And then if I want to, I can I can actually edit this. I could shorten it down, or I could I could take this little thing that I just created and I can delete it, and then re-record it again if I want to. Okay, so I'm recording it, and so that's me recording. Okay, once you're done with the recording, you're going to need to export it or share it or uh, take it from here and turn it into an mp3 pot file that you can either email or that you can put into Dropbox. And the way that you do that is we've created this little sound file right here, but we need to cre put it into an mp3 format. Right now it's not. It's, it's just sitting in GarageBand. So we want to push it from GarageBand to our desktop as an mp3 file. The way that we do that is you go to File, or we go to... yeah. You go to share and you go export song to disk. Okay? And you're going to use MP3 encoder, high quality, um, compress, that's fine. And then you hit export. And now it's going to ask where you want to export it to. Well, I usually just select my desktop and then I name it, this is the test, and or I can change the name of it, and now it is going to save this as an mp3 file on my desktop. So I hit save, and the file is now saved. Um, when you quit, you can save your project if you think you're going to come back to it, um, or you can not save it if you don't think you're ever going to use it again. Um, 
Next, you want to send the file. So you can either go to your email and you can just attach the file. Here it is right here, test mp3. Um, or I can put it into a Dropbox folder of some kind and then share it with me that way. However you want to get it to me. Um, if you run into any questions or any problems with any of this, just feel free to give me a call and uh, we can sort it out. So anyway, that is what I wanted to show you how to do. And if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks.